Here we go, same place. Again, we're on the hill here. This is behind my house in coastal sage scrub. And here's a very common plant in California, especially Southern California, west of the mountains. And this is, um, they call it deer weed or wild lotus. It's Axempon glaber. And I'll put that name on there, Axempon, or it used to be lotus, I believe. But Axempon glaber is what we call it now. Wild lotus, really pretty wild, sorry, not wild, really pretty yellow flowers. I like these little yellow flowers. The, the whole plant itself has this nice look around it of just a nice bush of green leaves and yellow flowers. Here it is growing with some buckwheat. The plant gets about two to three feet high and wide. The good thing about fireweed is, sorry, not fireweed, deerweed, um, is it's a legume. It's in the pea family. And it's really good at amending soils. It provides nitrogen. It's a good cover crop. You could actually grow this in your garden or in a wildlife, uh, wildland restoration type of situation where you're revegetating. This would be a good um, pioneer plant or one of the first plants you put in that would provide some nitrogen to the soil. Being a legume, it makes its own nitrogen using bacteria. So deer weed's a cool plant. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of edible uses, but it's used a lot for restoration. It comes back a lot after fire. We're here on the edge of a trail, so it does like disturbed conditions. And again, it's very good because it attracts pollinators with these flowers and also provides habitat. Um, in the landscape, we get kind of higher up. It is kind of a nice plant. I would like, I would use it in rock gardens and things like that. Um, overall, really nice plant. It's in the pea family. Again, useful for pollinators and also for improving soil. Uh, no industrial uses or human uses. And again, it's in the pea family or Fabaceae. Real quick, right, right next to it, it's not on our plant list, but I just want to show you, are some really cute little popcorn flowers. Little cryptan cryptantha popcorn flowers there. They won't be on our plant list, but they're just kind of fun to look at. Little popcorn flowers with four petals. Sorry, look at, no, five petals, excuse me. On the cryptanthus, five petals. And again, we'll get real close in on the deer weeds flower. See if I can see that. It will zoom for me, hold on. There we go. You can see it looks like a little pea flower, a little... Let's see, I'm trying to get it to zoom. There you go. And in the summer, these small leaves will fall off and the plant will mostly be green.